Welcome to this Oakland's College Music Technology tutorial. Um, in this session we're going to be looking at um, sample editing using the EXS24 in Logic Pro. Um, now in front of us uh, you'll see a big pink audio file there which is Toxic by Britney Spears' is a cappella. Um, just hear that. Now what I want to show you to, uh, how to do today is um, take a section of that clip, a section of any old audio file, and uh, you'll be able to chuck it straight into the AXS24 um, and manipulate it in various different ways um, from just playing it straight through through a keyboard, speeding up, slowing it down, playing it backwards, all these things. Um, so let's get into it. What I'm going to do is only take a short clip. It's um, the clip at the end there, um, which is just the toxic at the end. Toxic. Let's extend that out a little bit more. Toxic. So what I'm going to do is just get into that file there. Now I know that's not ideal. So what we want is 50. We want bar 58. So you can go and find that there. Um, we can get in more detail in the sample editor here. You see. So now. If I make that selection, Toxic. and get really nice and close, really tight on that sample, be really precise at this stage, that you get right at the beginning of that sample. Um, now I've made a selection, and all I need to do then is go over to the audio file menu here, and do save selection as. Um, I'm just going to call that Toxic um, Sample. Okay, and that's just going to go straight into my audio files, which will then be in the bin. Uh, in the media bin there. Um, so if I just hit save, um, I can get rid of that sample editor now for the minute. Um, what I'm going to do now is actually make a new new track to put your, your EXS24 up. Um, let's have a look at that. So a new software instrument is what you need. Um, and then to get your EXS24, I wouldn't go and use these presets over here. I'll close that off and um, actually go straight and look at the mixer here. Um, this is just for that track. You've got an output there and an input. This is where you want to put your uh, instrument. So if you hold click on that, you then get a list of these synths that Logic comes with um, and any externals that you might have. Um, then if you choose a stereo EXS24, now this is a sampler. You can play all sorts. There's all sorts of presets from this menu here, back garage band ones, but also Logic ones, different strings and bass, pianos, and all this kind of stuff. It's even got a Steinway on there. Um, <clears throat> But what I want to show, to show you how to do today is actually get deep with inside this program and create your own instruments using the sampler. Uh, it's a very powerful tool. If you hit the edit button there, um, it brings up this um, so instrument editor. Now you'll see the keyboard stretched along the bottom. Now what we can do is actually stretch an audio file along that keyboard so that you can play it. Um, so what, how to do that? Well, you need to go up to the zone and create a new zone. This has now got a zone spanning you see on along the bottom of the keyboard there. You can edit using the key range and you can just pull that up and down and move it around. You can also extend it from down here um, so you can put it onto the bit of the keyboard that you want it to be on. <coughs> okay, so nice and neat uh, from C to C there. Um, and the next stage, I, I guess, is to open up an audio file. So from the audio file um, we've made that save selection as. So if I just go into that load audio file and then you need to go and find it. Um, so it's toxic sample is what I called it wasn't it. So if I just press open there. Um, now that sample is now loaded in and you'll notice it's on the key of C3 which is middle C. So if I play that that's going to play at the right speed at the right pitch. Toxic. Okay and that's just toxic, toxic. straight on the keyboard. Now no prizes for guessing. If you play it a lot higher, it's going to play it faster and chipmunk it. So if I play it right up here, really fast. Yeah, and if I play it down here, it's going to play it really slow. It's going to drag it out. It's going to be really long. Okay, interesting sounds. Just speeding up and slowing down the sample there. Um, you can do far more with this. It's a much more powerful tool than that. You can um, layer as many samples and make as many small or large selections of audio as you want and stack them on top of each other. Um, you can adjust that according to the velocity of how hard you hit the key, the keyboard. It's sensitive to that which sample it hits. 
Um, you can do that here from the velocity range uh, if you've got multi if you're doing multi sampling. Um, but what and you can you can pan samples, you can change the volume of them. Um, but a few, a few other little tricks for this for the remix purpose we we're doing at college. If you click on a um, reverse here, you might be able to just spin that background. Yeah, that's just backwards. Okay, creates a nice little effect. I'll take that off for now. Um, you can then um, hit the loop button as well, which is quite a nice um, trick. So if you play it up higher, yeah, or toxic, toxic, toxic. Okay, like a delay function, I guess that. But we'll get deeper into this in a sec. So I'm, what I'm going to do is you can change the loop start and end point. So if I move the start point here, it's going to then just loop from a bit later on. So toxic. So if I make that much. If I type in here, if I type in uh, 50,000, okay, let's try that. Yeah. Toxic. Now what we can do is actually open that out in the, uh, in the audio. We can see that in the sample editor. So if you go back to where you loaded up your audio file in the first place, there's that drop down menu. Um, if you say open in sample editor, um, that will then come here, so I can now sort of 